these are the instructions for cab model 12016 for Kubota 2301 and 2601 tractors. Step 1. See Figure 1. Identify the steel parts by using Figure 1 as an example. Step 2. See Figure 2. Install the one eighth inch shim. Remove the two bolts at holes A that fasten the control lever to the loader control and remove the handle. Place the one eighth inch shim from the hardware package on the control as shown. Insert an M6 by 20 millimeter bolt with lock washer down through the lever of the shim into the loader control. Replace the other removed bolt at hole A and tighten both bolts. This should prevent the control lever from hitting the cab door. Step 3, see figure 3. Install the right and left foot 1 and 2 and the right and left front panel bracket 4 and 5. Remove the bolts at holes B. Place the foot and the front panel bracket in between the hydraulic bracket and the floor support. Insert M10 by 30 millimeter bolts with lock washer. Do not tighten at this time. To install left foot and front panel bracket, attach the parts to the floor support with the two 3 8 by 1 inch bolts and lock nuts. Do not tighten. Notes. Use an alignment tool to help align the holes while inserting the first bolt. Step 4. See Figure 4. Install the front panel frame 3 and the front post 6. Place the front panel frame onto the tractor as shown. Insert bolts down through the lower hole of the front panel bracket. Add lock nuts. Do not tighten at this time. Insert a bolt outwards through the upper hole in the foot and the post. Place a hinge from the door hardware package over the bolt and add a nut. Do not tighten at this time. Repeat on the left side of the tractor. Insert a bolt outward through the lower hole in the foot and the post. Add a lock nut. Do not tighten at this time. Step 5, see figure 5. Install top frame braces 7 and 8. Install a quarter by 3 quarter bolt forward through the tab on the post, the end of the front panel frame, and then the lower end of the right top frame brace. Add a lock nut and tighten just enough to hold the brace up. Repeat on left side of track. Step 6, see figure 6. Install right and left rear brackets 9 and 10. 
Remove the nuts and washers from the handles at reference B and remove the handles. Place a 5 16 by 1 and a quarter thick fender washer over the holes. Place the right rear bracket over the fender washers as shown. Insert two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts down through the holes. Add the two removed washers and add 5 16 lock nuts. Do not tighten at this time. Repeat on the left side with the left rear bracket. Step 7, C Figure 7. Install right and left ROPS brackets 13 and 14. Place the right ROPS bracket clamp over the right side of the ROPS under the hinge. Insert a quarter by four inch bolt rearward through the clamp holes. Add a lock nut. Do not tighten. Repeat on the left side with the left ROPS bracket. Step 8, C Figure 8. Install right and left rear posts 11 and 12 and top frame 15. Insert a bolt outwards through the rear brackets and then the rear posts. Add a lock nut and tighten just enough to keep the posts upright. Place the top frame onto the bent ends of the posts, the top frame braces, and the ROPS brackets. Insert eight bolts upwards through the holes and lock nuts. Do not tighten. Step nine, see figure nine. Install the doors for frame door line. Follow the instructions in the door hardware package to install the door bottoms and the door latches. Install, close, and latch both doors. Tighten all bolts from previous steps at this time. Step 10, C Figure 10. Install rear curtain 19. Open the Velcro flaps and place the rear curtain behind the cab and in front of the rocks. Close the Velcro flaps around the top frame. Close the flaps below the rocks brackets. Close the Velcro flaps around the rear posts. Close the Velcro tabs around the rocks and the fender brackets at the bottom. Step 11, see figure 11. Connect windshield 17 in the front panel vinyl 18. Place the windshield in the front panel vinyl face up on a clean flat surface. Press the Velcro together. Step 12, see figure 12. Install windshield 17 in front panel vinyl 18. Lay the rods sewn into the top of the windshield over the top frame. 
place the vinyl between the hood and dash and close the velcro flaps around the corners of the top frame. Secure the ties to the crossbar and close the velcro flaps around the posts. Hook the springs under the step plates on each side as shown by the arrows below. Step 13, see figure 13. Install doors and top 16. Make sure that the rod sewn into the windshield is lying over the top frame, plastic windshield only. Place the top over the top frame. Place four quarter inch flat washers over each of four bolts. Insert bolts inwards through the plastic top and the top frame. Add lock nuts and tighten. Reinstall the doors per the instructions in the door hardware package. Connect the Velcro strips on the lower door and front panel. 